Hey everyone, Trey Amick from Magnet Forensics here, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a custom workflow inside of Magnet Automate to really maximize the use of your Atola Task Force Imager. So we've already logged into Automate. I'm going to go over to Configuration, Cases and Workflows, and then I'm going to do it Add a New Workflow. For this one, I'm going to name this Atola Task Force Hardware Imager. Next, I'm going to select where I want Automate to dump out our case outputs. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, location we've already uh, predefined. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, just in case I want to use some of these keywords, I'm gonna have that already loaded in as well. I'm gonna have this as a distributed process. I'm gonna hit continue. Next, we're gonna build out our workflow. So I'm gonna grab hardware imager, which will be a Tola. When we select this, you can see there's gonna be some information down here, including the IP address, the target image type, if you want to apply compression, uh, the task force log files, and some of the basic information in terms of uh, the destination username, password, and domain that you'll need to put in uh, so that Automate can speak to your task force. For this, I'm going to go ahead and add in a quick output. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add in a quick IP address. Now that we've added in an IP address, and like I said, you would add in your destination, username, and password, and domain so that Automate can speak to your Atola task force, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this box and continue building out our workflow. After we've got the Atola information added in for the hardware imager, I'm gonna go ahead and drag out Axiom Process, connect this to the imager, and let's go ahead and select some of the information for Axiom Process. Here you can see we have the image type, so we have an image, it's gonna be a Windows computer, We've got the source path out, output path that we can predefine, examiner name, so I can go ahead and put my name. Search type, we're gonna to leave to full. And then down here, just like in Axiom, we can select the artifacts that we want to run for this particular case. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it everything checked and I'm going to set the retry so just in case automate runs into an issue while it's trying to process this image this will go ahead and kick off the process all over again I'm going to go ahead and minimize this box out and lastly I'm going to just have an axiom exporter and we'll go ahead and connect these to process and for this exporter I want to go ahead and select the report type as an HTML and you can specify where that's going to output that file to and we can go ahead and say, you know what, I might want to specify the date range for this report. So you're only going to see the data for maybe the last week or so. So you can absolutely set that. And just like before in process, we can set the number of retries as well. Lastly, I'm going to hop right back over to Axiom Process one last time though. And I'm going to scroll down here and get down to add a keyword list. I'm going to actually add a keyword list to this case. And since we've got keywords pointed to automate, I'm going to go ahead and select those. Hit select file. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab another Axiom exporter. I'm also gonna connect this to process. And while it's going ahead and creating this first report that we've already built out here, which is an HTML, I'm gonna actually have the second one build out a report that includes only the matching keyword hits as well. And I want this report, instead of to be an HTML, I'm gonna have this drop out as a PDF for one report for all of our artifacts. Just like before, I'm gonna slide down and select the retries as two, just in case some, we run into some issues. So now we have the hardware imager connected, we've got it processing an Axiom, and then automatically Axiom process will dump out to the exporter for both a HTML report as well as a PDF of just the keyword matches. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and save workflow. Now that we've saved our workflow, I'll scroll down and we can take a look and sure enough, there's our new workflow that we just built out. So now we can start our first case with Atola. Thanks for joining us today.